So we just got to be a Herdo Salento Hostel. Apparently it's a chain hostel throughout Colombia and Ecuador. But uh, so yeah, Salento is like a coffee region with a really tall wax palm trees, but check this out though. been in so far in Colombia. It's definitely quiet here. Which is kinda nice. Cause all of Colombia we just been partying. And that's why I haven't we haven't been vlogging lately. They all got cameras but they barely use them. <laughs> and we just been partying. And like I mentioned before, I don't, I don't feel safe taking my GoPro out at nighttime to show y'all nightlife and stuff. But you know, I try to add clips in there from my phone. But um, yeah, we pretty much been partying in Colombia. So we've been in Cali. We were in Cali for almost two weeks just to give y'all an update. As y'all know, like I said, Trail lost his phone. Wait for the phone. And we kind of got tired of being in Cali. So we came out here for two days. And uh, when we were in Bogota, we saw advertisement for a reggae festival called Jammin' Festival. And uh, when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, like some of the um, big reggae artists that I listen to on the daily, and that I've, many of them I've already seen at Kaya Fest. And if you ain't seen that video, my Kaya Fest video, y'all gotta check that out. But um, Chronics, Redman, Method Man, um, who else is going to be there? Cypress Hill, um, Protege, and a bunch of other artists. And so it's actually this weekend, a friend of mine, she was like, yeah, she going to go. And I'm like, reggae festival. And then it hit me. I was like, it's in Bogota, ain't it? So we might, there's a slight possibility we might end up going to that it's this weekend. Um, it's not really in Bogota. It's like an hour or two outside of Bogota. Uh, at a like festival ground so we might go there so I guess meanwhile we're waiting on Terrell's phone might as well do something there's a huge reggae fan as well Bob Marley so he might come with me as y'all seen me before before I even had my YouTube channel me and him went to Bonnaroo together and I did do a recap video on Bonnaroo you gotta check that out too but so this might be round two for us, another music festival if we end up going. It's a one-day festival, so it should be interesting see, to see all the popular reggae and even hip-hop artists there. So now we're about to go get something to eat. I'm about to leave the camera here to charge. And um, so, yeah, I mean, Colombia is great. Maybe maybe at some point I'll get all three of us to sit down and talk about Colombia. Anyway, so we're going to catch y'all later. Go get some food. So we just made it to Kokora. It's pretty, ain't it? It's very pretty. So get here. There's basically two hikes you can do. You can do a four to five hour hike, depending on how fast you walk, or like a two hour hike. Both you get to see palm trees, but the longer one you get to see a river. 
and they were talking about some Porta Azul. I don't even know what that is, but we're gonna find out on this hike. But it's definitely a relief to be out here because between Cartagena, Medellin, well, Tyrona Park was nice. That was a lot of nature. Um, but uh, to be here after Cartagena, Medellin, Bogota, Cali, in the city with all the air pollution, the air definitely is a lot lighter out here. The butterfly. So, we'll take some pictures and uh, show you guys around and try not to bust my ass. Are we out here? What you think so far, T? I'm loving it. <laughs> like McDonald's. Yeah, Terrell is back home or back in Cali hanging out. I don't know what he's doing. He don't have the phone, so we don't know what he's up to. But, um, yeah, let's start this hike. It's tall as palm tree. Everything's so green here. How was the hike? It's tiresome. It was worth it. Too bad we're not done. <laughs> no, we're not.
Tejo. Yeah, we're playing Tejo. I guess it's a Colombian game. You gotta throw this stone. Um, and this thing, and these things have gunpowder in it. And if you hit it, it'll explode and you get like nine points or whatever. It kind of reminds me of cornhole, but more action. So, JT just popped one. So he got three points. Because you get three points if you hit it and smoke comes out. And you get six if you hit it in the middle or explode. So thus far in South America, JT has been the food expert. He got a stomach like iron. He ain't got sick since we've been here. He eats everything, bonuelos, sachi papas. What else have you eaten? Everything. Uh, Look at that burger. Fish. Fish, everything. Ribs. I don't even eat pork. I don't mess with that beef, but hey, sometimes I eat it when it's the only thing to eat. But I got me a hot dog. I don't even remember the last time I ate me a hot dog. It's pretty good though. Me and Salento. Well, I already know what you want. You ain't getting none. You ain't getting none. You want some food, don't you? The other little, your other little compadres over there too. Look at you. What you doing? Nah, cuz. What you doing? Hey, what you doing? Don't be rubbing your fleas on me, dog. You better, you better go on with that. Get. It's your puppy dog eyes. So meanwhile, we're waiting on the bus. This is the center of Salento. We went on the bus to go back to Armenia. This is square, the church, square, typical. What you'll see here. Yeah, we're only here for like one day, basically. We're going back to Cali to meet up with who? Krusty. <laughs> Krusty Krab. <laughs> It's the last couple of days in Cali. Hopefully. We're about to check out this reggae festival. Maybe, possibly, hopefully. Uh, if not, then I guess it's off to Ecuador. So, we're about to get on this bus and chill out. JT probably gonna fall asleep. He said last night there was a dude snoring in the room. Couldn't sleep. The worst snoring I've ever heard in my life. Damn. I really wanted to throw something at him, but I was like, <laughs> You should have got up and shook him. Shit, I don't think that would have done anything. Shook him, woke his hat. You should have woke him up. This makes me want to have private rooms from now on. Really? <laughs> Gonna pay the extra, extra money. If I had to hear that shit ever again, then I would. It's probably the worst snoring I've ever heard in my life. Even worse than my brother. Your brother snoring? Yeah, dead. Damn. He might have been sick. He might have been congested. I wasn't about to get on that four hour bus ride with no food. I'm sorry. See, aren't you glad you ate? Now you're gonna fall asleep on the bus. I'm gonna have the shits later. Yeah, he ate brownie. He been eating everything. He been eating everything. He's the food expert. Fan of some salty papas. There's a burger spot right over there that we ate at. Oh, salty papas though. Don't 
do it at night for whatever reason. I guess we catch you guys in Cali again. But these last two days in Cali should be fun though. Ain't that right, T? Yeah.